people in here. Hi, everybody. I know you're all not going to say hi to me all at once, but it's, it's, uh, I'm just scrolling along here. It's good to see some people that are live, and it's just good to see other people that we know you're on the call. Um, so today, I'm just going to get right into it. So today, we're here. Last week, we talked about uh, focusing just at the Burlington home churches. This week, we're going to focus on, from a Burlington perspective, our kids and our youth. And uh, we're just going to take a little bit of time to do that. And then next week, uh, we hope you'll join again. We'll talk about what we're going to be doing in Burlington with our local compassion partners. And um, we just really feel these three weeks are important to get ourselves back as localized as we possibly can and, and give you as much opportunity to find out as much current information as we have. Current is a very interesting word these days. And we can maybe, we'll open it up for questions at the end. If you have any questions, even with home church or kids and youth, we can open that up for some questions at the end because I'm already receiving some texts and emails from some of you about what it means with some of the current guidelines. And we can talk about that later. Um, yeah. So when we talk about, when we're focusing on kids and youth, and I thank you for joining us because even if kids and you do not have children at the moment, or maybe your kids are grown, or maybe you're part of our community and you still hear about our kids and youth, Thank you for joining us because it's good for you to know what's happening in our church because we just need to be supporting each other and praying for each other. And I don't know if many of you know this or not, but I've been in ministry, holy cow, over 30 years. I never got, thought I'd get to the point of saying I was involved in something for over 30 years. But 25 years of those, of those 30 have been in specifically youth and youth ministry. Um, and I've done a ton of work in the past um, in churches, but also in camp ministry. And in camp ministry, it has to do with youth, usually that are counselors and working with kids. And so my heart beats for what we're doing for kids and for youth. And um, when we talk about discipleship or being disciples, the be lot of most, actually, people that follow Jesus make decisions to follow Jesus while they're young. And so this is very important that we recognize that our kids and our youth aren't the future church, like they're the church of today, and we need to invest in them as much as, much as we possibly can. And so just sort of a little bit in reflecting on, on kids and youth, usually like gatherings are, have always been to this point, or youth group, like Sunny School or youth group have been super important to how we invest in our kids. So as we're in COVID-19, it's really, really challenging for us to do that. And we all know that, but we just wanted to make sure you understood that kind of from our perspective, we kind of have plans, but we also need to realize that we want to do, uh, do our best now and better as we go along. And uh, we just appreciate uh, you joining us on this. I'm going to share my screen for a couple of, just a couple slides. And I just want to talk about kids for a second. Um, can you all see, can you all see this, my screen here? That is last night. Christy had her birthday and we were celebrating my wife's birthday and here are our two grandkids. And I am realizing more and more how without church, the way that we normally did it, how this is so different. And so parents, we just want you to realize how, how important you are now and you always are the most important person in your faith journey. But all the more right now, we recognize that you as parents are coming alongside your kids. And then I was just looking, you know, with this picture and realizing like parents, but grandparents are super important as well on this journey. And then also friends and some good friends can come along too. But our kids, we don't want to wait to teach them about Jesus. We want to teach them now. And so the Meeting House has developed, and this is in the area of KidMax, and this is actually something that they're working on uh, right now. I just want to make sure, did, is my screen share on or no? Chris, I'm looking sort of at you. Okay. There. Do you see that? Good. Yes. Thank you. So the Meeting House um, is coming alongside parents and grandparents and friends that if you're working with your kids, and this is specifically during our COVID-19 restrictions is that um, every single week for preschool and for grade one to five, every single week we're putting up videos and lessons and activities to help support you in whatever way we possibly can. And so the meetinghouse.com backslash KidMax has actually just become live recently. And we've added a whole new preschool, uh, 
curriculum. I'm using the word curriculum loosely because reality of it is it could be a standalone video for those kids that you can show, or there's also accompanying lessons you can download, and then activities like craft activities and some other activities that are suggested. And specifically, that is for preschool and grade one to five. You can also go there, parents, and the par you parents can go on to, and they could, I'm not sure, I think there's also a parent blog that's attached to that as well. But the design is to do our best <clears throat> to come alongside you parents as you guide your kids. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we don't have Kid Max on Sundays right now. So this is the best we can offer for now. But even if there's something beyond um, these things that you think that you need help with, please contact me and I will do my best at figuring out a way to connect with you uh, as best way we can. The other thing is, is that um, we want to do, we want to have some face-to-face -face time with the kids at some point. And I, I'm going to throw these two suggestions locally in October, we'd, lo we, we'd love to have at least one online Sunday opportunity with kids uh, preschool up to grade five. We recognize preschool kids might not connect as well. That being said, we just would like to attempt to do one thing. And we haven't landed on the date yet. It would be after Thanksgiving, but look out for that for in the future. It'll probably be something we would do say 9.30 to 10 o'clock. Uh, just for about half an hour, just so that we can connect some of our KidMax leaders uh, with the kids. So we're working on that right now. And then the other, the last thing is that we'd love to do something that's kind of Halloween related and using our 1240 Advance Road space. Um, again, the restrictions keep on changing. So we will have to be a little bit flexible, but we still want to sort of look at that date and say, okay, how can we figure out how to do something uh, for our kids where we're doing some face-to-face, -face, something fun, something to connect. And so I'm going to just sort of leave it at that for now, but from a perspective of your kids and KidMax, that's what we're offering right now. And then uh, keep your eye out for on social media and Facebook, and we'll tell you exactly uh, some more details on the online and then the Halloween kind of thing that we're doing as well. I don't want to take a lot of time here. I want to hand this over to Carissa. Carissa is running our youth and she has tons of plans as well. So Krista, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen because I think you might want to share. It's over to you. Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I am um, a youth coordinator at the site, if you haven't met me before. Um, I'm actually coming back from maternity leave. So what a time to be coming back in COVID-19, but we are going to be doing our best to be connecting with our youth. So. For those of you who don't know, youth at our church would be anyone in grade six to grade 12. Um, and we consider our junior highs grade six to grade eight and our senior highs grade nine to grade 12. And so what we've decided to do is we are gonna split junior and senior high this year. Typically we've all met together, um, but as restrictions keep changing and our numbers uh, of indoor keep changing as well, we just wanna be really mindful that um, our junior and senior high can also have friends involved um, and we don't have to limit the amount of people who are going to be um, coming into our space. So the plan currently is two Thursdays out of the month, we would be meeting in our space and two Thursdays out of the month, we would be meeting online. So those will alternate. Um, and if you are a parent of a youth, um, you should be signed up for the newsletter. If not, we'll get you signed up. Um, and all of those details will be broken down um, further in the newsletter. So. Uh, I'll save some of those details for that. But basically, junior highs are going to be meeting from 7 to 8, and then our senior highs will be meeting um, from 8.15, roughly. We just have to do a little bit of cleaning in between, um, 8.15 to just after 9 o'clock. Um, and so that will be what will be happening for that. And then this Wednesday at 7 p.m., we're going to host a parents' night on Zoom, and we're going to talk all about the youth here and what that's going to look like uh, in further detail as well. So. Um, the Zoom link got sent out in the newsletter, so if you need that, um, look for that. And then also our Instagram as well, um, we'll have that. So this Friday and Saturday is our kickoff for you. So it'll be a Zoom and then uh, a park component as well. So we'll be meeting at Spencer Smith Park on Saturday uh, to finish up some of the challenges together. And then October 1st is our bonfire night. So um, we will be um, heading 
to have some bonfires with our small groups uh, and just catching up as we're trying to keep some of those outside as well. So that's a little bit of what's gonna be happening. Um, we're also looking at uh, different leadership opportunities for our senior highs um, and then opportunities for hangouts as well. Um, we are kind of loosely, we're planning, but loosely planning uh, what's gonna happen as things continue to evolve and change. And so um, our youth team met this week just to pray and get together and uh, just get really excited about the year ahead. So we're all really ready to go and um, switch back in um, after a summer of being off. So yeah, I just apologize if the transition's been a little bit clunky. Um, but we are back and we are ready uh, to make this year special for our youth, even though it might look different. So. Hey, Chris, it looks like someone's asking a question here. Donna, why not have junior highs one week and senior highs next week? Less cleaning and rush. Yeah, so Donna, that's a great question. Um, we have kind of explored this opportunity um, of having, you know, off weeks. Um, the main reason why we decided this, um, decided against this was mostly because of the online portion. So a lot of our students are online um, throughout the day with school. So private schools are using online Zoom platforms all day long. Um, and then our grade nine to twelves are online for a portion of their day as well. So for the online weeks, it was just to be online for another two hours. Um, was just a lot for them. And so we wanted to just limit how much time we were spending online with our students. Um, and then again, from the survey that we did um, in the summer, 85% of our youth are actually not watching the Sunday morning service anymore. Um, and so that's a huge number of our students not getting um, a Sunday service or getting faith if they're not getting it at home. And so we really wanna make sure that there's that touch point throughout the week for them. And so that was the main reason why um, we decided against every other week is just because we wanna keep consistent with our students getting that experience of Jesus and getting that connection with their leaders. Um, and so not to say that this is gonna be forever, um, but this is kind of what we've decided at this point. Good, thank you, Carissa. And Carissa, I'm just looking at your apartment, or your house, sorry, townhouse. You yeah. guys have just moved in this week. Look, it's like so clean. Or maybe the boxes are on the other side of the camera. There is no boxes because of community, so they're <laughs> wonderful. Sorry, buddy, that was a little personal thing, but there you go. I have some sort of final thoughts, but I really want to answer any questions or Chris answer any questions. Is this about kids or youth? Maybe this is, you missed home church last week. I don't want to take a ton of time because there's a video recorded on that but um, just leave it open to anybody at the moment. If you have any questions or any comments. This is very quiet. I, I do like the, the comments going in the chat section. <laughs> That's Kevin Visser, by the way, he, he's his title of he's now he calls himself John is the best parish pastor. So I'm getting used to this parish word, to be honest, everybody, but we'll work at it. I think it'll be fine. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, pass along those to myself uh, or Carissa. Um, we mentioned it last week, maybe uh, you, you did miss it, is that we're sort of, we're looking in Burlington, all of us, but in Burlington specifically, we're looking from wherever we are right now to Thanksgiving to really try some things out and just test to see sort of what's working, what might not be working, um, especially with kids and youth, is that, you know, they're in school right now. And we know even like last week, it was a lot of kids weren't in school yet, and now we're in school. so. We're just trying to sort of find out where people are at. We do not want to over-organize for people to feel overwhelmed. We want to do our best to come alongside uh, um, our families in, our, in the best way possible. So we believe that kind of thank, by Thanksgiving, we believe we should have a little bit of a better handle on that. And then after Thanksgiving until, uh, you know, beyond Christmas, maybe the new year is sort of our time to sort of, is to say, how do we have, how, how have we all, created some really good healthy rhythms in life and our spiritual lives so that we really feel like we are, um, we feel like we have community to help come alongside us to deepen our faith journey, no matter what that might be. And so um, I would invite you, I do have 
uh, the screen here. I'm going to screen share once more and say that we, I would invite you tonight at seven o'clock to, to be part of the town hall. If you've never been part of one of these before, you don't have to drive anywhere. You can do this and just tune in. Uh, and this will be a chance for you to hear from, uh, I know Bruxy and Daryl will be the major communicators. I'm not sure who else is, but just to get a glimpse of uh, the bigger picture at the Meeting House and the overall Meeting House church family. Uh, and that's at seven o'clock, themeetinghouse.com backslash live. Uh, that will be the way to tune in. Next Sunday, after Bruxy's teaching, or after the teaching, I think it's Bruxy, yeah, is that we're going to have another one of these lobby times. I guess they're around 11 a.m. We was, I was never sure, 10.45 to 11, but we're going to focus on compassion. Uh, if there's any, we are not stopping supporting the people in our, the, the organizations in Burlington that we've been partnering with uh, for many years. We are not stopping doing that. We will just tell you some more details about how we can now come alongside in this new COVID-19 reality and just get some updates on all of those things as well. And then the week after that, please tune in. I'm gonna be teaching specifically uh, on some things that are on my heart and we will be definitely communicating more about specifically in terms of us in Burlington. And you never know, but in two weeks from now, there's a lot of restrictions that hopefully are, Hopefully what's happening is we're feeling safer and understanding our, our new reality so that we can just be better at serving our own community, but also how we can serve others outside of our, our own community as well. So I think that's about it, everybody. If it, and we wanna have more of these lobby times. So we'll figure some of those things out as we go along as well. So anybody have any uh, more questions before we finish? No? Hey, Carissa, can I, do you mind closing in prayer? Do you mind doing that? Um, I know you're so deeply committed to our youth and our students, and uh, there's just so many parents here as well. We just appreciate all that, all, anybody who's volunteering and working with our kids and our youth, we just appreciate it so much. So if you don't mind closing in prayer, yeah. then we'll finish this call. Thanks. Hi, God, thanks so much for today. Thank you that we just have these opportunities to connect with, um, the, yeah, the people at our local parish. and. Uh, just that so we can still see each other and still stay connected during this time. And God, you know uh, where our, each of our students are, are at, our kids and our youth. And uh, God, we just ask that you would help us to uh, make this transition in this season well, uh, as they transition back into school and the new realities that they have. And uh, for those who are just starting school this year, um, and for those who are starting at new schools and those who are returning and just so many changes, God, just pray that you'd be with them, give them a sense of peace uh, and joy as well in this season. And God, as we um, continue to just look towards what this um, will look like in the coming months, God, would you just bring us together? Would you uh, give us opportunities to connect with our kids? Um, and God, would you just strengthen the small groups we have for our, our youth? Uh, would they have a sense of community? in this time uh, and would you just help us to lead well in this time in jesus name amen amen thank you everybody god bless you all and again feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if you if you need some support right um, i'm here to do my best to help you with that as well god bless you all go in peace